Welcome back once again. I'm your host, Quantum, and we the co host of BJ. And the man behind the camera, Astro <laughs> Shive. So, once again, this week we're going to be talking about the Mortal Kombat legacy that was you know, put out by Machinima.com for you know, the launch of Mortal Kombat 9. I think it's 9, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Who the really counts anymore? The, the rebirth. After 3, I'm mean, lost. <laughs> <laughs> for the rebirth of Mortal Kombat. Which I'm actually shocked that well I'm not actually shocked Ed Boon actually allowed like a little company like Machinima to make these videos of it. Well, I mean it wasn't really him. It was more like the people like they pretty much clamored and emailed <laughs> him and made him make these because they set up that little teaser with you know oh, a bunch of actors got together, director called it in a favor and got the actors to come in and actually do the little yeah. you know. Oh, little still, Sonya doesn't look like in the game. <laughs> wow, yeah, just jump ahead. Why not? Uh, uh, sorry, I got now I got through this. Wheel it back, right? <laughs> uh, no, let's no. just talk about these. These all came to be because you know there's buzz since Mortal Kombat Nine was coming out that they actually want to remake the Mortal Kombat movies, which so, I agreed with. I say Mortal Kombat should probably just be left behind. No, leave it, make it, but this time, rated R. Isn't that there's what? No Mortal Kombat rated R. It's brutal. There, there's no movie was it? They never had a Mortal Fatality. Kombat rated R. It was always PG thirteen. But that's the thing. I think the Mortal Kombat game should, you know, be how they are. But if you're gonna make a Mortal Kombat movie, they really shouldn't be R. R is just. I don't see how you could fail. Too much violence. Because, because the, cause the simple fact Th that that is the whole point of Mortal Kombat. It was crappy gameplay well, mixed don't in with the kids. Yeah, but I'm not saying little kids are gonna should be clamoring or running it. But the people who like Mortal Kombat are not little kids. These are grown adults. But now. it's not even that. It's, it's a fan base grown up. It's a simple fact that in the game, yeah, that violence is nice and cool to see. But in a movie. All you do is just enter like Planet Terror or Hobo of a Shotgun territory, which is unneeded gore and violence. Oh, my favorite movie, Edges of Darkness. Oh, but no. <laughs> let's go back to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so. But anyways, let's get to the first one. Well, we can talk about the trailer first, because we talk about the trailer, introduce some things that, that introduce, you know, Jax. You know, we, we saw who we saw the city was chaos, you know, chaos. I, I and, guess, but we were, and it, it was like building off of the, the mythology of you know. Just that there's the Shang Tsung that run the tournaments and tournaments have been destroying the city, and that you know Jax was like we gotta kill we gotta stop the head guy and then he'd be like we gotta send in the greatest of all time killer Scorpion which yeah. Yeah. okay <laughs> that, that's why I didn't want to talk about the tr original trailer that they put out for it because this this like they're super retconning when out of nowhere Scorpion has become the hero of the series <laughs> yeah. where I'm just like they just I know in the games they bought it back to Liu Kang. But Scorpion, forget Scorpion. I don't know why he became so popular. But anyway, because he has the greatest line ever. Get over here. Get back down here. <laughs> no, he just constantly just <laughs> dumb. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> time for you fall. That's why he uses one line. Like he's you know, Go just to hell. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and the, but back to the back to the actual trailer. The first one, I don't think the first one even had a name for it. Just Legacy Episode One. Yeah, but Where, you know something that happened in that that I thought was interesting. That I don't know if they. They actually show certain people. Uh, but no, they actually show some people getting killed. They show Baraka killing Johnny Cage, and I was just like, "Is that how it happened?" Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't remember. I know he dies, but Depends I don't know. Really what kind of movie do you watch? Because I'm like, why would he, first of all, I'm like Baraka fighting Johnny Cage in a loft. Okay, if you say so. That, that was the thing, how Baraka became like some Rastafarian with like blades on his arms. I was just like, <laughs> that was stupid. But anyways, back to the series, somehow Machinima actually managed to get like an all, well, I guess a B-grade, but still an all-star cast to actually appear for this. Like, you have Michael Jai White as um, Jax, and that's pretty much the only person you'll know by name. Everyone else wow. Wow. Oh, like that's seven of nine. Yeah, that's what I mean by you'll know by name. Everyone else, you'll, you'll be like, oh, it's that character from that show, but you'll be like, who are you again? <laughs> What's your but, name? But no, uh, I, I don't know <laughs> Helio. But, but as, he, as he said, yeah, you got Helio. He, no. He, from, if you've yeah, seen yeah. Battlestar Galactic people, you know Helio. Yeah, you got, I don't know his real you got name. Seven and Nine from Voyager, Sonya Blade. Jerry Ryan. Oh, okay. From Summon and Nine, that's her real name, Jerry Ryan. Like a, like a care. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was about to say something how they're trying to make it seem like a rising star back in the day. How uh, that little commercial for Voyager. How uh, they like focused it all around Seven and Nine just because she had some crap. She fought movies. The Rock, that's all I'm going to say. She did. Oh, yeah. But no, but, um, Congrats and then, Who's Rock anyway? 
<laughs> you mean Dwayne Johnson? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd beat you up for saying that. <laughs> the but guy yeah. from Cinderella or something. Or something. <laughs> hey, his best role was the other guys anyway. But no, um, the uh, what happens is you basically see a character get you see a character get killed, and then you, they say they're like, oh, they entice him with the you must come back to fight. Why must I come back to fight? And it's like, cause Sub Zero is gonna be there. It's like, dum dum dum. <laughs> True. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, really? But anyways, the first. <laughs> The, the whole world is being destroyed and he cares about the Sub-Zero, okay. <laughs> but anyways, the first episode's about pretty much Sonic Blade Snow. As usual, they always have to have her and Kano somehow in the you know, same area for some odd reason. <laughs> Whereas Sonic Blade Snow Wait. sneaking up on Kano... Get captured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, she gets captured. But they didn't explain really what they were even doing in that yeah, warehouse. Yeah, they, they don't. Artificial eyes. <laughs> there was, but then you see like mask, like Cyrax mask, and you see a whole bunch of other things. So yeah, yeah but just, well, just let me get get them out the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the episode next. But anyways, yeah, wow. so, yeah, Sunny Blade. She she sneaks up on Kano. She gets captured by Kano. She the, the whole time though she's sending a voice or recording to what you call the Jackson crew, Jackson Striker, about what's going on. But somehow. Kano had to, you know, manage to intercept the recording when, you no know, daddy gets sent everywhere. Managed to intercept their one recording, and I was sent it to him an hour late, so when Jackson Cruz shows up, you no, know, they're all ready for an ambush, and, you know, of course, action ensues. Yeah, give that man a Gatorade, because I'm tired of just listening. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is our energy drink. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, he basically he broke it down that... See, the thing I like about it... Yeah, I liked it. What I liked about it was it didn't go to the point where it was just like we're gonna try to do something, but like, we're gonna try to be so creative. We're gonna rewrite things and have things. It's just like we're gonna stick to it. We're gonna give you fighting. We're gonna give you action. We're gonna give you people saying horrible lines because that is kind of what that's kind of what small you know companies do when they're trying to make a movie. I'm not saying maybe you shouldn't try to be better. Don't get me. Don't get it wrong. But I'm just saying small companies. You know they they don't have the great people writing like Christopher Nolan to make things amazing. But that that's the thing I didn't like about this movie. I was like, yeah, it's a small company like Mission, but their whole thing. It's usually, Twelve minutes. Why not? Their whole thing usually is that they take video game footage and they'll make a movie around that. This is like one of their most pretty much probably their biggest expenditure and actually trying to do like something like a real action miniseries, yeah. which Michael J. Wright. It's great. He's great as a great director for Black Dynamite, great writer, great everything. He was great in Tyler Perry movies, alright? But, as Jax, <laughs> he is not Jax for the life of him. He, he, he's like the one real actor that they have about this movie. And you can see he is trying, but you're like, sir, you're trying on garbage. <laughs> so he ends up sticking out Come like on. a sore thumb. Yeah, 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 I agree it's with like, that. No. What do you think of fighting? The, the fight, I will get to the fighting later, okay, we'll but I want to come on the actors. And actors... Simonai, she's a hot cougar. Don't get me wrong. She's like 50. But, yeah. She, he, he's even say cougar. <laughs> <laughs> but she's trying to play Sonya Come on, you make it sound like you would not even try. Like, oh, yes. No, I'm not even going to bother with that. If she was offering me in the late, late night of oh, bar. You're going to try to hit me up front. She's supposed to be like in 20s. Yeah, that's the thing. Sunny Blade's supposed to be in her 20s. Got, and I'm like, she looks great. Disbelief of reality. She, she'd, be great me, she, she'd be great if she was Sonya Blade's mom. Yeah. But being as she's supposed to be Sony Blade herself, you're like, no, this just doesn't work like that. It's a big titty anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, my question is, I guess, well, I don't want to interrupt you, no, no, sideline. No. How do they compare against the characters they played, like, in the movies? You think? Like, like, the, the actors like Jax like compared them? to Jax, Sonya compared to Sonya, Kano to Kano, My favorite Striker Sonya. to, oh wait, no, Striker was never in the movies. Uh, uh, my uh, favorite Sonya, oh, uh, he was mentioned in name. Yeah, <laughs> Striker's been defeated. <laughs> That's pretty much. I but felt my, like me with Bruce. My, my favorite Sonya was always the Sonya from the first movie. But she was just a pouty Sonya. She wasn't like she didn't do nothing that was like Sonya. Like, oh help me, save me, what, save me. What she had? No, no, that was like the second. Yeah, she was. That, what's that All said with me. That was, that was the okay. second. That Bridget was, Wilson. Yeah. That wow. Was Look at that. All said with me. But I think she became more the I need help until the second movie, which I'm not going to start the second movie. Yeah, you ask me to end it. I don't yeah, know because, that one. Don't because know. that Sonya messed up on two things. The very beginning when Shao Kahn, like, you know, grabs her up in the neck and gets Johnny Cage killed. <laughs> and the second one, the Can't fight between her and Melina, where mud comes out of nowhere. We're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> it's stupid. That happens all the time. Right. You just walk through the desert, all of a sudden you just run into mud and like, that's oh, a, that's a sand trap. Oh, no. 
That's the fastest way to ruin a video game movie, adding sex and crap like that into it, because then you just belittle what the franchise actually was. That's the same thing. But not you, Jack. <laughs> but yeah, it was no Jack. And so the, 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 I think that Michael John White was a better Jack than the other Jack, because the other Jack was just like, Damn, son! But that's the you thing. Got, you just got punched in the face. Knocked out, like stuff like that. Like, but that's the thing. I have not liked the Jacks at all in any of these. I ain't movies. walking with you. You, <laughs> you about to get disease or something? Like, it's like really. I thought he was I'll, racist. I'm gonna give Michael Jai White credit. Yeah, I though. Everything. I'm gonna give him credit because he was better than the move, the both movie Jackson, Jackson, whatever. But <laughs> what's the plural for that? <laughs> he was better than both the Jacks before him. But the thing is, because of how low budget it was, and how he's actually a decent actor. It was making him seem worse than what he actually can do. So you're just like, things weren't equaling out for him. Yeah. And then Kano, well, the guy they had playing Kano, you could see that he'd probably be like a good, like, good tough guy, but the moment they had him fight, oh you're like, God, that he was can't. So, that was just slow. He but can't I, fight. My main problem with that Kano was he talked like this. Yeah. yeah that was and innocent. Like, that's not tough. <laughs> and he was talking uh, so you forget slow. forget about British accents. Who? Mm -hmm. You forget about British accents. You want to talk slowly, but where's the British accent? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to attempt that. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I he, will dance before I do a British accent. And, and the thing is, I actually like the Kano from the first movie because his Australian accent was more it was more comical. It was out there. So it made, for some odd reason, it made him seem more of a threat to me than actually that, that Kano. And also just the simple fact that they just threw the eye in there already. They didn't try to give like some BS excuse. Like I hate the movies how they try to do that. Like this whole movie, they try to make it seem like it can take place in the real world. But then they start off the movie by saying, here's this eye that we have that can sap the energy from your opponent. You're like, no. <laughs> like just, don't, just have it glow. Just have it be like he lost his eye and he got a robot eye. Don't try to actually throw in the powers to. Because then you just go out of there. Yeah. But so I guess we can get back to the story with the... <laughs> Well, basically, what happens is it's a trap, and, <laughs> and we see, yeah, and so you see a bunch of gunfighting, boom, boom, boom. You're like, wait, this is so much like Mortal Kombat. Oh, <laughs> and, and and yeah, what, like I said, you no, know, Sonya, but they come there to save Sonya. It's a trap, woohoo! But the thing is, they have the bad guys that when they're using their guns. If you play like Rainbow Six or any first-person shooter, you can recognize these guns. And on Rainbow Six, my favorite gun was the M8. And they have a guy shooting the M8, but instead of shooting bullets, they're shooting like energy rounds. <laughs> That's what this whole thing just lost. Whatever. Hey. <laughs> exactly. You're like, okay, in the Mortal Kombat games and the Mortal Kombat movies, when did you see energy shots? Never. From a gun. Never. Striker always maybe shot Maybe Striker, yeah, maybe Striker. Maybe that's the only thing hey, I have. All I'm gonna say is I don't expect realism when I'm playing a game where a guy takes a bomb and puts it on like his chest yeah, and but, the whole world. But that's the thing. So, I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. The game, yeah, I could believe that in the game, sure. But in this movie, they're setting it all up like it's the I mean, real world. They threw logic off the room though, and it was the friendships and babalities, all right? <laughs> that logic was French gone, all right? French it was just chaos. No, but body just went nice. body just went nice. <laughs> but no, nice. but so the yeah, so the, the gunshots and all this boom, boom, boom. I guess everybody ran out of bullets, so they just ran out of bullets. Oh yeah, and for bullets, so and then people just start running. See how far <laughs> we are from the camera? From how far we are from the camera? That's how far that everyone's standing from each other, and they couldn't hit a darn thing. <laughs> and so <laughs> shots. The, the action scene starts off with someone from the shadows shooting a dude in the back of the neck. Yeah, that's the one shot you'll see actually connect throughout this entire. From where? I have no idea. Exactly. But, I, but what I thought was funny is just they were running, and it's like they're running like the distance from here from the camera. Like, stop! <laughs> Slow down! Or like, I don't get, I don't get what he was like. Why he was, he was all running, and he was all, they all like seriously. Like, they're like going nowhere. It's like a really big revolving room. They're running. So they're not running the Jackson circle. Shot oh, fighting, right? oh, and Jax and Kano. When it has them, they before they start, no, the hand to hand fighting. They're having the shootout. What I love is that some, I can believe Kano runs out of ammo because he's just wearing a leather jacket and jeans. But Jax runs out of ammo and he's wearing like he came for war. He, exactly, he is strapped down with grenades and crap on him. And I'm like, you did not carry an extra clip, just one extra clip for your pistol, sir. No. <laughs> it's just like, come on, it's stupid. But yeah, so they get to the hand-in-hand -hand combat. It was and not very, very. Funny. See, I didn't mind it. I only problem I have. Again. You can't ask that much from something that's 12 minutes and 
done with spare money. Like I'm not, I'm not giving you an excuse and saying like, oh yeah, that should be the reason. Yeah, if I come to you right now, punch you, you come back to me, punch me. That, that's well, like we're not trained fighters. There's a big but, difference. But that's that's the I'm thing. I'm saying that's how fast for me it was. The action was all right till me <laughs> until they had like one segment where Jax was doing pretty much throwing like a lariat at Kano. <laughs> But it was so slow that you can see they're setting it up for each other mm -hmm. that Jack just puts his arm out just like, uh. Oh. As Kano goes underneath it, like, no. After that, Sonya came and do that oh, shot God. from behind. Oh, oh, okay. The, the greatness of this. She came. Wait, wait, you missed, the, you missed the other time. There were so many times, hold on, I just want to say this because this is funny to me. Yeah. So many times we were just sitting there waiting to see when is his arm going to get blown up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were just sitting there, every single time something would happen, we were just like, how's he going to lose his arm? Is that, this, movie, this little teaser just reminded me of Hot Tub Time Machine with the little bellhop they had oh. that was trying to see if it was going to cut off his arm. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly yes, yes. what I was hoping for with Jax, because they had so many segments with the door grenade at Jax's feet, and he'll turn around and run in slow motion. So I'm like, I want to just like, put his arms out as explosions come. And then turn around and go backwards like, that been the greatest, that been the greatest thing. Ever. Oh, and that's slow motion. No! Somehow he needs to lose those hands. Okay, I, I, just it, I guess, and by the, all the commotion, all the shooting and stuff, it gives Sonya, who was tied up downstairs by herself in an escapable room. Yeah, I know. You know. And so she somehow breaks free from. Oh, there's so much light. No, no, she breaks. But, but the BS about how she breaks free is that she's she's hung up by her arms, suspended in midair. Yeah, she lifts, she up. lifts her body up. And no, puts her feet against yeah, the ceiling and just pulls down. How like this is a that? chain in the wall, and she is like, she's smaller than my pinky. Like no, no, no. no. I don't Brute care force. if explosions. Force. I don't care if explosions <laughs> are going on around you. She does all the push-ups. It, it was be exactly. Yeah, she <laughs> she was probably like, in peak physical position for that one day. But no, I I can't believe if she like found a gun and somehow like kicked it in the air and like. No, fired and somehow shot the chain. You believe that, but you can't believe the fact that, that the ground is getting loosened from the fact of all that violence that's no, going on upstairs. No, I am not. But going you to believe that she that. can kick a gun from? <laughs> she ain't Jackie Chan, all right? All right, <laughs> hey, magic, David Copperfield. Be well, true. Because I mean, like I said, this whole thing, Jax is running from explosions, which is stupid enough as is. But the explosions aren't even leaving really much of a dent in the facility. This is what I find stupid about it. They are, they're just leaving like little scorch marks when they went off, and they're sending got like electrical pulses and stuff. Yeah, there's light, light so, everywhere just for her to look cool. Exactly, so I'm like, that's why I'm not going to believe that she was able to pull out of the cement ceiling. But she does, because she's that's Sonya, that. and she's 7 or 9, so she pulls herself free. And there's lighting. Oh, <laughs> yes. And the, slow and, motion. And as she hits the ground, she has to get into action pose, and explosions happen after, behind after her. After that, she walks, opens the door, looks somewhere, walks away, and there's another light. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and as she opens up the door, you're going to get the dramatic little drum roll. Fade Lighting. To be continued. And you're like, BS. <laughs> this is the world's worst ending. That they're gonna, A, they're going to leave her there by herself. And B, they're just gonna leave the door to the facility. Because I actually unlocked. really had to wait the next week <laughs> to figure out the point. Oh, okay, you're late. When they met, when they Kano jumped Jax, uh, it's stupid enough that he flashbanged them and wait so they can see him to say kill them. But then he is also like, I'm going to walk away from this person that I'm going to kill later instead of killing them now. Good point. But see, I got even more question. So we can go right into part two. Why was Striker there? And they're no longer there. Oh, the I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. He's not a main character. Yep, you, you know what? You answered it. Never mind. It's like, they had like a, Get your logic, man. <laughs> See, now that you bring that up. <laughs> now that you bring this up, this could have been really cool if they had a t like a three man fight. And no, Jackson Stryker versus Kano. And actually make Kano seem like a threat. Instead of being like, oh, of course, Michael J. White just gets you no know, pissed off because he says something. That about That makes Sonya. Spawn look weak. Okay, you oh, can't make uh, Spawn look weak. Don't don't ever say three men fight with me. Oh, I'm talking up. about one thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I guess we go right into episode two, and episode two takes off where episode one left off. Recap. <laughs> where <a> recap? <laughs> and so we see her walk through the door, and pretty much that's it. We go right back to the fight. And pretty much nothing's happened. They just shot the ground and yeah, she shot the ground. Got but no, no, they shot the ground. Both of the players both fight for the gun. Oh, uh, the ground. oh yeah, that, that's the thing. Kano breaks free of Jax for a second. That he grabs a gun. Now you would think he would shoot at Jax, but no, he uses it as a club 
to try to swing at Jax. So of course they struggle for the gun and shoot like a little grenade at the ground instead. After like, that there's eye contact, I bought run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And you know what's sad about it? If you ever watch it again, if you see Michael John White's face, he's just looking like a face like, this is the dumbest thing I think I've ever done in my career. <laughs> like, he, no, he, he actually, really has a face of, I actually I give up. I actually Give think up. the opposite. I think he is like balls happy for this. I think he is excited. Like this is gonna, I mean, this gonna bring me back. Up. This is spawn. He's like, he's like, I I wrote Black Dynamite. Is that he was like spawn ruined my career. Black Dynamite kind of got me back. No but, more Tyler Perry movies for me. Exactly. I'm on the fast track. <laughs> no. So parts and then so basically part two fight 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 fight, fight. <laughs> and the, the only time it's resolved is when I guess when. He gets so mad that he's like, I'm going to, I took Sonya and I held her up against the will and tortured her soul. What did he do? He only punched her once. And yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that's the thing. He's like, I, I, tortured, I tortured her soul. <laughs> she cried and beat herself when I tortured her. And he died in this. And then Jax goes, Jax goes, rage! And just Super starts punching him. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, he goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> because Kano doesn't throw land any more hits after this. Yeah, because he reminds me of that, that, that mystery man. The guy who just gets mad, oh. like, rage! He's just, he, gets on, he even gets on top of him, like, uh, 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 and I'm like, okay, Mortal Kombat again! <laughs> and so he gets him on the wall and then just but turns she died. Wait, she died. no, he did it, he did it then. He turns his back to him. Turns around. <laughs> super punches him in the eye. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, you caught me in the eye! He's but Just one he single you with a close eye. He punched you with a close fist after you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about this fight is you see Jax fight in the games. He only throws punches. He might throw in that one random kick to like the kick to the gut that sets you up for a stun. But in this, Michael Jai White, I know for a fact he had to have taken over the action scene. Because in the first part, it's just them throwing punches. It's just like, no, a uh, Steven Seagal fight, pretty much. <laughs> and then the second part, next thing you know, no. he, starts doing, he starts throwing roundhouse kicks. A martial artist who actually trained in many fighting styles in one tournament to start to one, actually wants to okay. bring variety to a fight. But, but, that, but that's not no. his character. That's not his character. His character is a, pretty much like a boxer, like a like an average fighter. Yeah. Not not an, a martial artist. So they're just like, it's stupid. Yeah. That's not Jax. I expect him to rip off Kano's arms for crying out loud. <laughs> So I can beat him with one. Yeah, I was always waiting. Yeah. That arm was oh my god, we didn't even talk about that. I guess we can talk about that at the end. But I guess then, then right after that happens is he shoots him in the eye and then another guy who had nothing to do with nothing who looks like that guy, I don't know his name, what's his name, Cabal? He he looked like Cabal, he had the Cabal mask on. Oh yeah. Yeah, he had the Cabal mask, but he, there was no Cabal. And he just comes in with a gun randomly like, oh, <laughs> for the longest time, oh. <laughs> and that's when that Sonya makes her great entrance. Yeah, in oh, hospital. <laughs> Sonya makes it. Sonya makes her entrance. Shoots a guy. Jax and Sonya mail. They look at each other like little lost lovers finally reunited. <laughs> then of course the twelfth grenade. The chemistry. Exactly. <laughs> then at the twelfth grenade to be launched in this entire little segment. Finally lands in front of them. But this time no. Isn't just they're gonna outrun the explosion. Even though the grenade's behind, even further than them than it was before. Yeah. It's like this time. Oh no. Sonya somehow got hurt, and Jax, his arms are pretty messed up now. But no, no, they did give an explanation, they did give an explanation. He shielded her from the blast. Yeah, oh, come but, on. yeah, but before, I didn't say she was a great, I just said it was an explanation. Then why she is okay? Because <laughs> he shielded her from the blast. Well, I mean, yeah, she, why she is okay? I, I mean, she's a small little thing, and it was <laughs> Michael Jai White, he must be bear hugging her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And so, but yeah, and so we wake up, they, they wake up in the hospital and we realize she that wakes up. She, wakes she wakes up in the hospital and you see Stryker who just appears and goes like, yeah, yeah, I went to go get some donuts, so I came, I'll come he, back, he, I was going to come back later, you know, knew, but, and, you know, I thought y'all had it in there, you know, by yourself. He knew to let them handle it and get the heck out of there. Yeah, and so basically he tells her, um, exposition, because that's yeah. exposition for the game, because they, like, they couldn't actually show Jax getting his arms blown off, which is what I wanted to see. We didn't see it. Exactly. They blew the budget on all those giant, giant, like, you know, explosions <laughs> of electricity. <laughs> they, they blew the budget on actually hiring Michael J. White, because everyone else you know was probably like, there for a favor or cost him $50, because like, I need the work! <laughs> so after that, they show... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that. that's when they blew the budget on showing that, revealing that, you know, that Kano, Kano got his eye, like, the Terminator. Yeah, all. Punch. He actually, sat there on a the conveyor yeah. belt, and then he <laughs> came in, and it was like... <laughs> Ma making that flashing eye probably was most of the budget. Shotting gun! 
because it's like his, his eye literally comes in like and then it's like and opens it and starts and it's like red and it's like Kano like whoa but, Kano's a lot more than that you but, can't just have but that was the thing it's yeah Kano. It was like, they just, I'd rather them not have shown it. That's what I mean. I would prefer for them just to start off the eye and just not explain it, but like play the games, figure it out from there. Yeah. Because the simple fact that they just drop it into his eye socket and it works. Did they ever explain his eye ever? No. Nope. I, I prefer they that. They keep ruining it now. Like, see, now little kids are going to think, that's how Kano got his eye. He got yeah. punched by a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but he got punched by a black guy. So for now on. What happens to white guys after they fight black guys? <laughs> no, so, and I guess. The synopsis of the first episode, I guess. Yeah, no, no. But I was gonna say the ending, cause I went the way to the end was where was the finishing moves? I wanted to finish him. Uh, At least one, like somewhere Jack, somebody Jack ripped, Jack just got angry, ripped off no, 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 a no, no. foot soldier's arm, like Ugh. Jack understand. That's a crappy arm. movie. I don't know. Huh? It's low budget. There's no fatality. Exactly, it was very right, TV. I'm just saying movie. there was nothing that was like well, a M.A. signature of the character other than just go, hey Jax, what's going on? <laughs> that's the only way you could be like, oh yeah, that's Jax. Sonya, I won't leave you. Well, oh, okay, she's Sonya. True. He's, oh, he's speaking with an accent. That's gotta be Kano. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, Kano is just like, he's Australian. Like, you, sir, you're Kano. So I'm like, where was the signatures? Like, I understand that there's, there are people who made this as probably fans of it, but I'm just saying, for the first episode, there was like no signatures that made these characters, like, which is a contrast to the second but, episode, which would be the, the third episode, which we'll get to later. But that was also the kind of thing. I was like, to do, like, Jax's and Sonya's specialties. They're kind of like BS specialties because you pretty much have like a a reverse bicycle kick and also uh, Jack just punch people so there's nothing special about him. I mean, he could she could throw a fireball or something. I mean, I don't uh, know. yeah, she could have shot someone in the stomach, <laughs> then kissed him on the cheek, then shot him again. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hey. that would have been pretty awesome. Yeah, that would I would have been complaining. <laughs> I would be so agree, actually. Then again, Daniel would be the only one complaining because he'd be like, She's so old! She's not making She's old! She's too old! <laughs> wow. Okay, I guess he'd go into that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that was the first two episodes, and the second episode... Oh, the third. They, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Excuse me, yeah, in the third episode, yeah, so they have my man... Doing the same thing. <laughs> they have my man, Johnny Cage, take center stage. Come at the monster. <laughs> Who's your favorite character again? Johnny Cage. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's oh. funny. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. We got a fourth man here. That the peanut gallery, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a fourth man here that refuses to actually you know, yeah. do anything. That's why you like Johnny Cage. Peanuts. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no so, shots. Oh, pretty much, you know, Johnny Cage's video, they just. Is this well, yeah. Johnny Cage's video, they just have it set up as him, you know, the usual joke. Aha, I'm an out of work actor because everyone thinks my action's fake. No, 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 they did not set it up like that. They set it up that he actually had a job. He was the Power Rangers. Oh, God. He was in the Power Rangers. That yeah, was they, saying they something. They mentioned See, that would be great <laughs> if they actually had like a split second of like, like a bootleg Power Rangers and just had him there. I'm a Red Ranger! <laughs> But it's pretty much of his of his movie. We can't go to the juice bar, guys. <laughs> but pretty much with, with his movie, they just had it so you know he had some clips from the from his old movies being done together. Then he throws together a montage of him, pretty much John. What was it? You got caged. His you little, got caged. His little TV show reality series of You Got Caged, where it's just him going down the street beating up like street criminals and whatnot. And of course, it gets rejected by the movie, by the um, by the film company, by the film studios. What's the yellow light in the middle? Yellow light in the middle? I anyway, what happened was they showed him pitching ideas to try to get, you know, back on, you know, where he was, you know, be a star again. But they're kind of not buying it, and neither are you because you, if you watch the actual him fight like scenes. Crap. But that's the thing. <laughs> I thought that was a cool idea. Like I said earlier when we were watching it. No. Who wouldn't want to watch something with, like, Brad Pitt running down the street, whooping ass? You know what? Freak. Forget Bad Print. <laughs> you just put, you take Brad Pitt out, put Jason Statham in. I bet you every guy will be watching that. It'll be on Spike what? TV. Understand Jason Statham's like 5'11", 5'10", in the actor. It's not like he's a real, like, Dog the Bounty Hunter. As much as Dog the Bounty Hunter is like, he's not no, like, he's not out there fighting against, like, you know, thugs and, you know. But Jason Statham, he could <laughs> He's do not it. arresting nobody for just, real. Just, just, be like, just be like, crank, light action. <laughs> that would be great. That would be so great. If they make a TV show, Crank Live Action, I will watch it. I'm not going to lie to you like, oh yeah, I'm too above that. You're talking to the guy who used to watch Buffy. So, <laughs> I, I will watch that. So, but not, um, and the only reason I said that because, you know, Buffy was referenced in Mortal Kombat. Oh. Y'all wasn't paying attention. Y'all oh, yeah. ruined everything. Because I didn't give two cracks about Buffy. I watched a superior show called Angel, but anyways. 
Oh, damn. Hey, Sonny just told me. But no. So, what happens is they basically don't buy and they tell him to come back with something new. And he takes about 50 grand. <laughs> that was the second one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He took like 50 grand and he and he basically he goes all out this yeah. time. Like, he got even got to scorekeeper. He's like, like you've been, been caged. Like, no more cheesy pyrotechnics going on. <laughs> Johnny Cage versus Thieves. Like, hey. Hey. So, so, yeah, and so and basically he goes all out because the first time he was about pirated DVDs. Like, exactly, yeah. it was, it was well, pirated his, his own movies. movies. Yes, yeah, his own movies. And so and then so this time he's stopping like, people. He didn't care about. Like, you know the sad like, part is they didn't say like what is this second one was about. Just like it just said random thugs. Exactly, it just said been grown, just he, been grown men just hanging out like, like you know just got off work need a drink. He's he 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 saw like a group of Spanish people just like come home from Home Depot. And just yeah, that's what a lot of people do, yeah. yeah. And so and so what happens he just beats them up and then like in the most unimpressive way where he's like he's beating them up, but you can obviously tell like Oh! Nah, I seen the first one, it was it yeah. was obviously fake because he had this person. Oh, come on, they were, waiting, no, they were all waiting to get hit in the second one. And, and, I mean, well, yeah, but they say it's fake bottle to begin with. <laughs> That's the funniest <laughs> line in the whole thing is when they're like, we have people think your movies are fake, and he's just like, no, dumbass, it's a movie. And I was like, you know what? That man, greatest line ever, he summed up the whole time. I, 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 love, how, so I love how you censored the word shit, but you still said ass. <laughs> See, Sanctuary, one comes from Sanctuary. the other. And the, uh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say that one. But <laughs> Dude, I have to give it up with a whole try to censor yourself. Right? <laughs> but yeah, and so basically, they basically was like, "We're not gonna run with you. We're gonna, you know, your career's over, son. Just go home and, you know." And I was asking all the time, "When are you gonna beat them up?" All yeah, the time. Exactly. You just watch this. You just wait for it. What is the what is the second nut punch gonna happen? <laughs> and, uh, what is the fighting gonna start again? You know the, the crazy part is that they remind you of all your bosses you ever had, where you just was just like, oh, you stop talking to me, them. stop talking to me like I'm a little kid, and that's okay. how they were talking to him the whole time. So you're just the whole time you're sitting there waiting for him to start just you know, rage kicks out of nowhere. Smash in the face. I don't know what you're talking about. I remember everybody when they used to do the, when they do the original Mortal Kombat, like flash kick. Everybody wanted to do the flash kick. I guess now they're called the rage kicks. Why they changed? I didn't know they still call them flash kicks because the whole, you know, guile. Oh crap! That's like the first time. Oh, shadow kick. That's what it's called. Shadow kick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's maybe that's why I thought it was called flash kick. I don't know. He's a superstar in Hollywood flash kick. I mean, it makes sense to more than guys. They, they should have him. They really should have him whenever he does that in a game. Like any of his moves, he start getting like the little Take camera glasses. Yeah. He start getting like the little camera shots going <laughs> off in the background. That'd be great. That'd be, that'd that would have been. Nice. That would have made a lot of sense if you would use that in the, this episode when he starts when he actually hulks out and just goes crazy. Yeah, cause <laughs> he walks in on the the group of uh, little studio execs he was showing this idea to, pretty much pitching the exact same idea to someone else. So of course he stole his idea, so he goes into you know, a cage rage. And starts <laughs> and just, just, <laughs> just, just starts headbutting <laughs> everything. He just starts headbutting everything and like just Security, security. <laughs> security comes, I'm gonna hit you in the arm. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, he was he was doing that like the security grabs him from behind and he goes, huh, huh. He's like the guy's holding him, he's like he's not hitting his ribs, he's hitting his arms. So I'm like, the whole time he's like, ooh, I'm getting hit up on all these ribs. I'm like, why are you flexing like he hit you in the ribs? Like, he punched you in like, because he did. hurts just by looking at it. He, oh, he hit me in my door. Even though, even though I really <laughs> wish they had like real security, like a 300 pound guy just coming like bear hug Johnny Cage. And, and when he tries to hit him, he just shrugs off this slam shotting on the ground. Just like fight over. <laughs> that would be great. Johnny Cage getting owned again. But no. <laughs> I'm just doing that to make you mad. I'm sorry. Johnny Cage I, got his neck. I, I've heard so many and so many jokes of Johnny Cage getting his neck snack by Shao by Shao Kong, getting killed by like what you call it by Scorpion. But I thought the greatest. You know that in Mortal Kombat, Kombat Night he actually survives. Exactly. With that's Sonya what was and great. Raiden. I thought it was great. That was Raiden. That's survive. the only two people that survived. I thought Raiden survived. survived. Thanks for ruining the game for me. But how did Raiden survive? I remember. I remember when I was younger. I for the longest, remember. my brother had me convinced. For, this is real stupid, but for the longest, he had me convinced. That uh, Johnny Cage, because when Mortal Kombat 4 came out and he had the little corpse Johnny Cage in it, he had me convinced that Johnny Cage died. That's because he was, in 3D, right? Yeah. yeah. He had, I had me convinced that Johnny Cage died because he was driving down the street and Scorpion pops up out of nowhere and throws a spear through his head. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> nah, the funniest. The, I think. The, I think everybody had like perverted versions of that because like. Like, for instance, when the Combat 2 came out, I remember, I'll never forget when you go to school and everybody be like, Oh, it's why is Sonya and Jax hanged up? And it's like, because they got caught having sex or something. And it's like, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's some things like in school, like, you know, Wolverine used to be banging Psylocke, and he, and then Psylocke, so Cyclops got mad and he beat Cyclops and knocked him through the window. It's like those like, you know, perverted stories that everybody always had. So it's like those things, that, that stuff was normal with kids. But no, nah, so after that, <laughs> we from the see crazy the detour screen, in my right? mind. So that we see a dark screen and someone showing up, right? Oh yeah, yeah. of course, you know, Johnny Cage, you know, you know what's my ass. And of course, five if, bodyguards. The, uh, you know, he beats up five bodyguards. So the next Takes thing, you know, a more combat when you think of that. Then of course, they have, to the, they have to get the epic freeze frame of everyone stops moving for some up, no reason for it. Really. Why should I? Oh wait, Why no, you gotta do it like the guy was doing, he was all bleeding blood there. And of course, out of the shadows, a young Shang Tsung comes in and pretty much says, I can fix all your problems for you. Can't tell what he was done or I mean, he, his hair was black. Cause Shane Tsung, oh, hey, yeah. you can go by Shane Tsung now. He's like, like he's like, like thirties. I really hate how they keep, <laughs> how they can't. I'll decide. say that. The original Shane Tsung, I remember, was an old guy in exactly. wizard costume. I hate how they can't ch figure out like what age you're gonna make him. The first game feels like an ancient sorcerer. Right. This dude got and blacker hair than me. Exactly. Then they, <laughs> then they're like, oh no, because of the movies, he's a young guy again. And then out of nowhere, they're just like, oh, he's an old guy again. And they're just like. An age Basically, guy. it came some Chinese guy selling T-Mobile phones, right? Oh, I <laughs> shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it's the same equivalent. You want your and, and so he goes like, "Hey, oh, you, know, you, I can, oh, you can come to the tournament and prove yourself." And so we already know what's going to happen. He's going to go, and then he's going to get his head cut off by Baraka. So I'm like, why they even what? bother? No, see, but that's the thing. I, I think it's a fake out. I think they use Baraka as like a way to be like, okay, these people are. They're dead, but they're actually going to the tournament. And so when they make their epic comeback, they you know Johnny Cage. Will Brother, have you were thinking forward. way too deep on I Mortal Kombat right now. Because you were going into I, like different realms of spirituality mixed in with. Because <laughs> you're gonna have a whole doctrine to go with it. <laughs> because I hate the fact that Johnny Cage is the one real fighter, and I will say that again. The one real fighter. Only other person I'll get that same you no know, pedigree to is Liu Kang, because he's a Shaolin monk. But everyone else, I'm Look just like so he's the monk with full head of hair. <laughs> hey, he's the one that walked away from it all. Uh, he walked no away monk. from. It. <laughs> yeah, but he was trained by the Shaolin monks. He just walked away from it and came back. AKA, he was there weak <laughs> and realized this ain't working. He's like, I need my hey. alcohol and white women. Hey, if I <laughs> he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> but no, so but no, so I was just gonna say again, comparison time. Shane Tushong, you gotta compare. And you gotta compare Johnny Cage. Which ones were better? I still wait. wait can we count him on Johnny Cage in part two. Oh god! He was only for like a part second. Like two seconds. <laughs> but I still prefer the Johnny. I still prefer the Johnny Cage from the first movie because not for the simple fact that the guy they have in this little miniseries, he's an actual fighter. While the Johnny Cage in the movies, you can tell this dude has zero training whatsoever. So they don't have him doing any of the flips or kicks. He just, his one action scene, he just punches Goro in the nuts, goes about his day. No, he had to fight against Scorpion. Yeah, but when you know, ran, you know, exactly, you know, his fight was, he picks up a shield and cuts Scorpion's face in half. He doesn't actually punch Scorpion, and when he does try to fight Scorpion, he gets his butt kicked. So, um, I, yeah, I, I, I know, I, uh, it's kind of hard to fight a guy who's, you know, because so takes his head off, he has flames coming out everywhere, like the, the Ghost Rider. Right, the reason why I prefer <laughs> Get down here, I got but, some things on my arm. But that's the, the reason why I prefer this fight. Come it, it was, in here. <laughs> like, finish another dimension. Get in here. Like, what the fuck is he doing that? Thank God. <laughs> why does he kick the thing and knock him down? Get down here. Why is he saying this? He doesn't have to talk. <laughs> like, thank you. We know he's doing that. My fault. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have nothing. But no, um, so this is like way everywhere. But um, anyways, the reason why I preferred his style of fighting was because it was more, it was more real, pretty much. It was like not I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna like do you know flow my arms in the air. It's gonna look like we're doing something. That Johnny Cage actually ran and used the environment to his advantage, which I thought I liked a little bit better. And also the fact that he had some meat on his bones to show he was a real American. <laughs> Damn right. This, the, the, the best Johnny Cage will always be this Johnny Cage from a second movie. Stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> just because he's in it for two seconds. Just to be like, he ever. says two words, Sonya, and no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest line ever. But no, um, the same, compared to Shane Tsung's, 
Shang Again, I, we don't know much about the Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung? No, Shang Tsung. I have said Shang Tsung, but. Shang Tsung. Because sometimes they just say Shang Tsung, and sometimes they actually put like the, like the apostrophe to kind of like slow it down as you say it. But that man Shang, <coughs> that man Shang. Um, you can't really compare the two because the second one actually, is like I, too short. I prefer the guy from the first movie. But he was they horrible. Are, no, I had to. I he was great. Die. Like, yeah, that's what makes him great. He 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 could just do that. That's being you are exactly. <laughs> The, well, the other one, I granted he didn't see him fight, but he came in wearing the business suit, so he got more of the, hey, I'm a business type guy. I like the other dude. Well, he did do that in the first one. I just remembered. Remember? He, he dressed up to, to get Johnny Cage. Yeah, he dressed up as his old master. He didn't actually come in there as what you call it, as you know, an Asian guy saying, I'm going to help you. He, he shape shifted to Johnny Cage's That's dead white so master. Which I was like, I actually prefer, no, the thespian, as you want to say it. Well, <laughs> the thespian? <laughs> thespian, excuse me. <laughs> Which called <laughs> the, little, the little version of him where he actually pre- no, enunciated. And he made, and he's more drag. I prefer that, I forget his name because I actually like the actor behind him. Just, if I you kids nowadays, yeah, kids nowadays would be like, Heiachi from the Tekken movie. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but, but I like wow. him better, pretty much. Yeah. Well, the other guy, I guess, I can't really comment on him because, you know, he didn't um, do anything. Yeah, but in all, I still think that was a great episode, episode three. I liked it. It seemed like we didn't because we, we spent less time on it, but I actually liked that episode. I, I thought that was like a fun episode that was entertaining. Yeah, we're only doing the first three out of like nine part series, but I'm just going to say good episode three. Stop watching. Wait till we get to episode four and five where it gets really good. Oh, yeah. They start getting into Melina and Raiden and the stupid, like, impossible stories that they might as well just left out. And, and I swear, there's one point they ran out of money or the cast was, like, sick or something because they just was like, we, gonna, we got this new concept we're going to use to tell the story and I'm not going to ruin it for you. You're going to have to pay attention and come see us again. <laughs> All right. Like, you got to hook them in, son. You got to hook them in. Like, dun, dun, dun. You gotta throw the bait out and see what you catch. Oh, God. Nah. Check my fly paper, chickadees. Anyways. No, Anyways, yeah. I guess we're pretty much done. We'll check you guys out next time. And once again, my name is Quantum. And this is the man in the middle, BJ. And I was also shy. And the camera. We'll check you guys out next time. See us.